although there was a competition, but this is a gift for me to Bunny, man. Thank you very much. Mucho respeto. No, al contrario, el no, respeto no. mío, eh. Gracias, hermano. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Te la firmo si quieres o si la dejamos. So ever since Alexa Bliss turned on the Fiend at WrestleMania 37 in Bray Wyatt's last match against Randy Orton, causing him to lose his match against Randy Orton, she went on to have her solo run and had Lily join her during her run, but it hasn't been really well and I don't think it has really taken much of her character anywhere in the WWE. As you can probably see for yourself, ever since she turned on The Fiend at WrestleMania 37, we have seen much less of her and we have seen much less of her in ring. And now WWE has been airing these therapy sessions with Alexa Bliss and a therapist and in every other segment in every week it seems as though Alexa Bliss's clothes keep getting darker and darker and maybe she could be going through a change and that therapy could be working for her. Now a fan theory is that Alexa Bliss could be bringing back the goddess which is definitely a huge fan favorite and has also taken her to heights in the WWE as she has held gold with that character. Now if I was to book her WWE return I would have her win the Royal Rumble so that she can continue her feud with Charlotte Flair since Charlotte Flair is the one who ruined her childhood friend who is needy. And she has also not held the gold in a really long time in the WWE. And most fans thought she would be returning to the Royal Rumble as a surprise entrant in the Women's Royal Rumble match but that didn't happen. And this year's Royal Rumble had so much hype around it but it definitely didn't deliver. And WWE themselves know that and they are going to definitely be improving that in next year's Royal Rumble. So thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling news and rumors and also comment down your thoughts on Alexa Bliss turning face.